Hello friends, welcome to another Get Ready With Me. I am getting ready to go to a food festival here in the Bay Area, specifically in Berkeley. I think it's called Foodie Land? I think that's what it's called. But um, yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it. I have my base makeup done already because it's nothing new. Skip you all the boring part and just get to the fun part. Um, I do have the Glossier Concealer, the Too Faced uh, Setting Powder, and the Anastasia Dip Brow along with um, ColourPop's Brow Boss to make it a little more defined. So let's get to all the fun colorful stuff. Okay, we're gonna jump into an old favorite. This palette is wonderful. I don't think they uh, sell this palette at Morphe anymore, but it was the um, 35B palette. I think they have like a 25 pan palette that is comparable to some of these colors, but um, I'm gonna use this because um, I love it. So we're gonna go with a kind of monochrome eye matching cheek look today. It's gonna be purple. I'm gonna be using this uh, purpley shade here it kind of has like um like a dual chrome like frost kind of gives me like 90 like late 90s early 2000s vibes but um i'm liking it we're just gonna go ahead and use our fingers to first place the color oh my isn't that beautiful see how it's like kind of frosty and like over here it looks pinkish purple but it looks kind of bluish here it's crazy right I think that you get the most color payoff. <laughs> I think you get the most color payoff when you use your fingers first and then blend later with a brush. My long nails kind of make it hard to get precise, so that's where the brush will come in later. Oh my god, I love it. Look at that! Super simple eye look today. And since in my last video, um, the one where, what is it, my everyday makeup one, I used um, blush for the eyes, I'm gonna try and use this eyeshadow as part of my blush. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I've never tried it yet, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. This is looking beautiful already. You know, I love eyeshadow that really does all the work for you. Like, because it has like that duochrome flip, you don't have to like blend too much and you don't have to like work too hard to make it look really nice. I'm just gonna take kind of um, a dense short shade to brush. I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna go old, old school YouTube on you. And then blend the edges. Okay, and we're gonna wanna bring this color to um, our lower lash line and we'll use the same brush. And that is it for the eyeshadow, just one lid color. Look at that, look how you can see like all the different colors. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go in with another eyeshadow as a liner and we're gonna use this dark purple here. We're gonna use a flat shade of brush, very flat. And we're gonna use this as an eyeliner. Because y'all know, I hardly wear any type of eyeliner nowadays. Ugh, man. You know, after doing makeup for however many years, you'll still poke yourself in the eye every once in a while. Okay, and after we do that and um, our eyes dry off a little bit, <laughs> gonna take a little bit to the lower lash line, just on the outer half. And we are done with the color on the eyes. I'm actually just going to wipe away some of that fallout before we move on. I am going to tight line the upper waterline with the Revlon pencil. And when I do a lot of color like this, I tend to kind of let my eyes uh, sit and get kind of like marinated with each other. I'll just move on to the rest of the face for now. So we're gonna go to a little bit of bronzing since it is summer, I have gotten a little bit of sun exposure and um, I feel like my forehead is kind of tan. <laughs> so I've been needing to kind of bronze and catch the rest of the face up with the forehead. So I know I said we were going to use the eyeshadow as the cheek color, but I'm going to put down um, kind of like a real blush first in case that one doesn't really work out. <laughs> I'm going to be using a Benefit color today. This one is Dandelion, I think it's what it's called. It's a really, really, really light pink. And I want to keep it that way just because everything else is a little intense. 
this will just be um, a base layer because I'm not really sure how the eyeshadow will look on the cheek yet and don't want it to just go like naked on the cheek. This will just give a little bit of color. Gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and use um, that iridescent dual chromey purple color. Oh, I totally just poked my fingernail into it. So we will just do it, okay? Just here, I'm gonna use a less dense brush. Maybe something a little smaller in case it doesn't go exactly as I imagine it. Um, let's go. Let's start off real soft. Can you even see it on there? Like barely on there. I don't even know what I'm doing. Can you even see it? Oh my god. Is this even gonna be visible? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh! Definitely have that like purpley sheen on there now. Yep. There it is. Okay, because I'm not so brave, I'm actually gonna stop a little bit right there. <laughs> if I do want a little bit more purple, I won't use that anymore. I'll just move on to a highlight. So I'm gonna go in with an old favorite. This is Over the Moon by ColourPop. It is uh, falling apart, but I still love it. Over the Moon is a beautiful, look at that. Wait, let me use another finger, a clean finger. There you go. Still, see even with the clean finger, you can see all that like shine. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna go back into the eyes and do the lashes. I have been loving this. I've actually been really, really liking this mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Um, I think it's only like $8, but it does the job. It's wonderful. It doesn't make me look like a raccoon throughout the day. I did buy the waterproof formula. Um, it keeps the curl. I mean, this curling eyelash curler is really great too. So the Shiseido one, you guys gotta go get it. If you guys have flatter, like, Asian eyes, you know, not in, like the deep set, like, eyes that are like, you know, a lot of the eyelash curlers are made to curve a little more to those deep set eyes, but mine is a little more flat, so I like this curler. Since I'm going to be eating a lot today at a food festival, I want something that is low maintenance. That is going to be the Ultra Blotted Lip. This color is Soda Pop. It's um, a pinkish, it looks really dark in the bottle, but I think it's more like a darker, cool tone pink. Uh, no, like a berry mauve pink. Like, I don't know. It kind of feels like a darker My Lips But Better pink. Let's see. Right? It's a little more um, berry, like, cool tone than the other uh, ultra blotted lips that I have <gasps> oh my god I forgot how much I love this color mm. it's gonna be really easy to apply after you've eaten so much <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh. and there you have it friends today's makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup portion I will be taking you guys out with me and you guys will be seeing all the food that I'm going to be eating yeah. okay let's go sunglass indent nobody even got to see my awesome makeup because it was so sunny that I had to wear sunglasses I had to tear my hair tie my hair up. tear my eyes <laughs> <laughs> I had to 
tie my hair up because it was so windy but oh it looks kind of gave me like beachy waves look at it it's kind of cool on the camera <laughs> looks crazy in person though anyway i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the food that we were eating and uh, just the overall vibes of the food market uh tip if you're ever coming to the bay even if it's summer bring a jacket and extra pants if you get extra cold because i'm cold the code <laughs> code Okay, anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks, Bye. Thanks, <laughs> Bye. Bye.